Yo, check it out. I gotta speak the truth about the hardest work in small channel. Welcome back to the Crypto Father channel. Today is the 19th of June. It's only been a few hours since I recorded the last video, which was delayed from yesterday. I, in the morning, I missed it. I made it in the evening. So that's only been a night. Make sure to smash up the likes on this video, subscribe to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the reasons for why crypto is tanking and it's tanking hard. So do those two smash the like, subscribe, uh, share the content with everybody else if anybody else has questions on the reasons for why that's happening. And let's get going. Quick look at coin gecko and the reason uh why i use coin gecko is because of these two indicators here because they're easy to see coin market cap also have these but they're a lot more subliminal a little bit smaller anyway uh 2.4 trillion dollars which is not great this is like a siphoning of close to 3 trillion or 300 billion dollars that left the market I think uh, a couple of weeks ago was at 2.7 um, and uh, we've got 117 billion dollar 24 hour trading volume Bitcoin at sixty four thousand dollars Ethereum at three point four three thousand four hundred dollars BNB dropped below 600 well below 600 I think it was it 660 or 606 I'm not sure Solana 136 Doge at 12 cent Hong coin still holding strong at seven dollars Cardano down to 37 cents insanity what is happening Cardano Polkadot at five and Chainlink at 13 dollars holy macaroni it's a bloodbath out there coin market cap has an interesting feature check it out uh look at all this red look at all this red it's hard to watch there are literally one two three four five six assets that are that are in green everything else is red the market is bleeding hard today and in this past week and the only things that are green are the stable coins usdt usdc uh what is that leo lid dao and some other ones which i can't make out here but so what's happening uh right now why is this happening basically on wednesday fed had a meeting and they released their rates uh their numbers fed recap chair powell explains why the central bank isn't ready yet to cut rates the federal reserve held interest rates steady at their current rate of 5.25 and 5.5 but revised its outlook for rate cuts to just one in 2024 the prediction was that the Fed was going to cut interest rates three times this year and they've decided to keep it at one cut, which is what's causing the massive sell of risk assets. People are taking money out of the risk assets because they need to pay rent, they need to pay the things that they need to need to live. Central bank policymakers noted that there has been modest further progress towards its 2% inflation objective federal reserve chair jerome powell noted at the press conference that the central bank does not yet have the confidence to cut rates even as inflation has eased from its peak levels now if you're wondering what the heck it is uh, about the rate cuts here the fed typically cuts only when the economy appears to be weakening and needs help lower interest rates would reduce borrowing costs for homes cars and other major purchases and probably fuel higher stock prices all of which could help accelerate growth so google search provides a quick little explanation of what rate cuts mean actually in the grand scheme of things yahoo finance posts an article here with a heading investors don't want stronger economy they want rate cuts yeah because when the economy is strong the fed does not cut interest rates they want to collect interest rates because people are making more money um, and so this is what's happening when the economy is weaker the fed decides to cut interest rates to allow people to borrow more money from the banks which people do and then a lot of that money goes into uh, stock markets and risk assets like cryptocurrencies but if in case uh, of the announcement saying that interest rates are not being cut as predicted as hoped for uh, there were supposed to be three cuts now there is only one and uh people need to cash because times are tough so that's essentially the reason for why we are seeing a tankage in the overall market it's a strange phenomenon but that's basically how the market responds and whether that is due to the fact that uh people are uh genuinely 
you know, concerned with money and, and investors are taking out their money or if it's market manipulation, basically piggybacking off of the news, presuming that most popular, most people will be wanting to start selling and, you know, uh, investors take advantage of it and begin sell offs, which further leads for, to further sell offs and liquidations of the longs and just the, you know, overall downtrend. Not sure, whatever the case may be, this is what's happening now. And despite the fact that when we look at the chart right here, this is on Binance, Binance chart, uh, and this is a 30 minute chart, and you can see that it's tanking, right? The market's going down, and since uh, Bitcoin hit $70,000, and this was post its uh, all time high of $73, so I guess uh, I'm not gonna scroll too far, but basically the last all time, uh, last high was $71,999 on Binance, and it's been tanking ever since. Uh, this was a retracement here to 70,000. There was a bit of a jump. And then ever since then, it's going down, down, down all the way to $64 or $64,000 rather. But when you look at the larger chart on trading view, things don't look all that bad. Let me get rid of some of the lines here. Here's our all time high. Oh, sorry. Here's our I have from the last bull run that's right here and here's where we are right now today this is the all-time high from from uh well so far the all-time high from this time around when you look at the larger chart i mean we're still within the vicinity uh within the channel here of the all-time high from 2021 so it looks like Bitcoin is remaining ranging within this this channel here and right now I guess what we could see is Bitcoin reclaiming the sixty thousand um, dollars support or the fifty nine thousand that's possible you could see another support over here at uh, fifty six thousand but uh, whether Bitcoin's going to go down all the way to 56,000 or not is uh, not sure, questionable. In any case, uh, the fact remains that since it's all time, since since the bear market, we had a run of, what's it at right now? 345%. Right now we are at 289% since the bear market started since the beginning of the bull market or since the bear market ended rather um so this is where we're at right now and uh you know seeing this slight retracement right now basically bitcoin remains within this range and uh even if we trace back to fifty nine thousand, um we're still on track uh for the year bitcoin top is going to take place sometime around here so this is uh april having took place on april april 1st no it was on april 7th april 8th i think this was the having so we've got about 550 days uh until the until the top of the market and uh once bitcoin breaks above 73,000 above the all-time high it's free coasting to who knows how high it's going to go but i want to show you a quick video by rob Paul and what he has to say um, on the topic of the present situation. Okay, I had to fiddle around with my audio setups, <laughs> apparently. Any case, uh, I got to set up. So let's listen to what Ron Paul has to say on uh, the topic of everything that's going on right now. Pretty much every single Beeple I could possibly buy, and then I bought every single X copy I could afford, uh, building a long term, long term portfolio. These things were quite beaten down. And my view is this space goes from two and a half, three trillion now. By the end of the cycle, it's 10 to 15 trillion. By the end of, let's say, 2032, just extrapolating the normal log trend of this, it's $100 trillion by 2032. That from here is $97 trillion of wealth that is going to come. This is the largest, fastest accumulation of wealth in all recorded history. Let's assume I'm a total moron, which is a good thing to do, and I'm wrong by 50%. It's still a $50 trillion wealth accumulation. That is the entire history of wealth accumulation of the S&P 500. 
and its market cap. So the amount of wealth that's going to get generated is going to get recycled into the space. People will buy high-end property in nice places, but a lot of people in this space won't go outside of this space and it gets recycled, whether it's VC, whether it's the opportunities of building the applications layer, but really people seek trophy assets. And so I've just been buying as much trophy assets as I can for a kind of long 10 year time horizon, because I think this is the last chance you'll ever get to buy this stuff at the kind of prices it is. Hey there, Crip. So Ro Paul is not really concerned about the, you know, slight downturn right now. The retracement right now that we see is minuscule. And uh, so his position is that within this bull run, we could see a market cap, a total crypto market cap of five to $10 trillion, uh, which would be massive. So right now, Bitcoin is at $1.2 trillion. Let's and it holds about 40%. Bitcoin dominance is at 52%. So, if we were to presume that this dominance continues, that Bitcoin maintains its dominance at 52 or maybe 49%, because that's usually the case, um, then a five, five trillion dollar market cap would mean that Bitcoin market cap would be at about 2.5 2.4 trillion dollars which essentially would suggest that the price of Bitcoin would double. So we're looking at a hundred and twenty hundred thirty thousand dollar Bitcoin. Now, of course, <clears throat> um, the hundred trillion dollar prediction of 2032 is still, you know, that's the next bull run. But so for this crypto market, this is his prediction, Ropal, and he's been pretty accurate about most of the predictions that he talked about. So, um, you know, that's that's massive hopium that's good hopium and the point is that bitcoin right now is just retracing its uh consolidating its position and uh, which is good consolidation is healthy it shakes out all the weekends and basically right now the market is just responding to the announcement made by the federal reserve on rate cuts which is not going to continue forever things may change and as somebody else pointed out the Fed is reactive rather than proactive. They do things based on what happened in the past, not what might happen in the future. But essentially, these are the reasons for why the market is in the red and it is a very, very red market. But fear not, perhaps this is a very good time to accumulate some acid. If you do have some money on the side, uh, picking up a little bit more ETH or Solana at $137 may not be a bad idea. Solana's got a tendency to have pretty solid rebounds. If you look, uh, it had its all-time high at $210 over here, and then it dropped, uh, we, had, we saw a pretty massive drop here of um, 42% right here, and then a nice rebound which took place uh, within 20 days, Solana was back up by 59%. And so right now we are seeing a retracement on Solana of 32% retracement right now on Solana. So we should see a rebounds back up to the 0.25%. So Solana as well is in a, in a ranging mode and it's essentially selling at a discount. 50% discount right now. That's where Solana is. Uh, it started at the bottom here. 75% discount would be in this zone. Right here, we've got a 50% discount. On Bitcoin, it is a, um, let's see. On Bitcoin, we are within the 25% discount zone still. So it's not great. The price for Bitcoin right now is not too great, but I guess According to what uh, Ro Paul is saying, his sentiments, it's still not bad. But if you haven't purchased Bitcoin earlier, if you're not a multimillionaire, then buying more Bitcoin right now is probably not the best strategy if you're hoping for massive returns. If you are hoping for massive returns, then uh, you want to look at low cap coins like Toncoin, I think has a massive potential. Uh, Cardano is at 37 cents, so that's a pretty pretty good uh, price tag. BNB dropped below 600, like I said earlier, so that's also a nice retracement here. Solana, and uh, I guess if you scroll down, 
way way down through the charts you would find a lot more gems uh maybe that's another video i know that somebody asked me about that that's another video but i just don't have the time to sit down and scour through the plethora of projects that are out there and find the ones that i would think would be truly a gem in any case make sure to smash up the likes on this video subscribe to the channel leave me a comment in the comment section below let me know what you think uh, what your thoughts are and uh, if you have any suggestions that'd be fantastic in the meantime please share the content with everybody else thank you for tuning in and i will see you in the next video tomorrow Good, good for the